More European countries are bringing border controls uh, into effect in the face of the illegal immigration and refugee crisis that all of Europe faces. Germany, Austria, Slovakia, the Netherlands, all putting forward border checks to take control of their borders, breaking with the European Union's open borders policy that is simply being overrun. Hungary also declared a state of emergency in two of its southern provinces as new laws to prevent illegal immigrants and refugees from entering the country without official authority took effect. European Union nations yesterday agreed in principle to relocate some 160,000 refugees from Italy, from Greece and Hungary all across the EU. But more than half a million illegal immigrants have crossed into the EU so far and they have not been, uh, as the EU is now discussing, distributed amongst the member states. Joining us now, the president of the Foundation for the Defense of Democracies, Clifford May, and former Pentagon official, Fox News national security analyst, KT McFarland. Uh, Cliff, let's begin with you. Uh, Trump is the first candidate to stand up and declare that he is putting forward a foreign policy address, a major national security address. Uh, is it too soon? Is this the appropriate time? Uh, is he ready, in your judgment? Well, I'm not sure we know. I think we will find out. We haven't heard much from him so far that would let us know that he understands foreign policy and national security on anything like uh, a deep uh, in, in the wood sort of way. Now, I don't think a president has to be a foreign policy wonk. President Reagan wasn't, and he was successful, but he did have some basic good ideas, such as peace through strength, the idea that our enemies should fear us and our allies should rely and on us. And Mr. Gorbachev, tear down that wall. I, I, and he, tear down that wall. He, he wanted to win the, the Cold War. He understood principles of democracy and, a, and the world order rather well. Uh, I, I, Katie, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Look, I work for President Reagan, and I must say at the beginning of his administration, look, I supported the Republican establishment candidate. It was George H.W. Bush. I, like a lot of people, said, well, what does Reagan know about foreign policy? I'm a foreign policy expert. He doesn't know enough. And yet Reagan turned out to be the most successful American foreign policy president of his generation. Why? He was able to take down the Soviet Union without firing a shot. None of the other foreign policy a minor, experts. A minor achievement. Well, a massive achievement. I can just imagine wonks around the world about circa 1989, saying, how, how could he do that? He knew so little. Yeah. Uh, this is about leadership. This is about a commitment to a nation uh, and its people, and no one could ever question Reagan's commitment. Uh, in the instance of Donald Trump, uh, what do you expect of him tonight, and do you expect much, really? Look, I'm one of the people who thinks that Trump actually makes a lot of sense on foreign policy. He hasn't put a lot of meat on the bones. But when he says, for example... You mean not like Obama, not like <laughs> Bush. Is that correct? Well, or not like other candidates. But his instincts, again, I think are pretty good. What has he said? He said, I want the strongest, toughest military so nobody picks a fight with us. That was peace through strength in the essence. That was, we're going to have the strongest, toughest military so nobody picks a fight with us. And if they do, we squash them. And so I, I, what I want to look for tonight with, with Mr. Trump is can he put some meat on those bones? Does he actually have the next sentence or two that he needs to? Or is he still going to stay at that superficial level? Because he's pretty good at the superficial level, but he needs more depth. And, and your, your thoughts? What do you want to see, Cliff? Well, I, look, I do want to see that he has an ideology, that he has a, an idea of, of what needs to be done to, to repair the damage that I think the current administration is doing, because right now it's just the opposite of what Ronald Reagan believed. Right now, our enemies, uh, they, they think they, have, they don't have to fear us at all. And our allies, they think they can't rely on us at all. That's exactly what you don't want. Um, so maybe he can make that case forcefully, and, and, and if he does, I'll, I'll be the first to say so. <laughs> All right. We're going to take you up on that, Cliff. We'll uh, be following up with you. Clifford May, KT McFarland. Thank you both.